pockets in a congested city like Mumbai have a crucial impact on living standards. But these are not the only criteria. When you think about the greatest places in the world and a livable city, quality of life is simply being able to walk on the street very happily and experience art and you know have access to open spaces and parks, uh, have access to high quality of uh, education and culture and hospitals and healthcare. And that's what kind of comes together to make a great livable city. Integrated townships are not complete without their social infrastructure. New developments have to create a miniature economy to allow people to work and play without tapping into the resources of the city. Mumbai's linear topography meant that people traveled from the suburbs in the north to the commercial centers in the south, creating a very linear pattern of commuting. This mass movement of people every day places immense stress on the transportation resources of the city. Mumbai's trains make more than 2,600 trips a day, carrying more than 6 million commuters. But yet, during peak time, more than 8 people are crammed into each square meter. Travel is a major stress inducer in Mumbai. To counter the congestion, corporates began moving into the suburbs of Mumbai. For Hiranandani Gardens to become a true integrated township, it will have to bridge the distances between living and working in Mumbai. We really believe that commuting was becoming a problem in Mumbai. Though we started as a residential area, the need for commercial was not there in those days. But over a period of time, as the city grew, the needs for commercial in the community grew too. Attracted by the quality of the surroundings, multinationals began approaching the Hiranandanis to provide commercial space within their estate. One of them was the multinational company, Crystal. You know, the kind of work we do, uh, our raw materials only people. We wanted to make sure that people, when they come to office, uh, they're happy, uh, they smile, and they enjoy working here. So that was one of our basic uh, criteria, that if we move into an office, a new office, we will take care of all these aspects. The Hiranandanis built the company's headquarters in a state-of-the-art, energy-efficient building that conserves energy by using smart architecture. Initially, when we moved here, there were some, you know, there were skeptics who said, oh, moving to Kauai. But what we've seen is actually when people come in here, uh, they, the working environment is such, uh, the productivity actually goes up. Uh, they like coming to the office, that's one good aspect. Today, Hiranandani offers more than 5 million square feet of office space that has been lapped up by some of the world's biggest multinational companies. I think integrated townships could be the way forward. If city planners can plan that effectively, I think it'll be good for everybody, it'll be good for the employees, it'll be good for the companies. Uh, it'll improve efficiency, it'll improve productivity. An integrated township has the responsibility of providing access to healthcare and education in a city that has restricted resources of its own. The existing health care for the city was planned in the 1980s for a population of 7 million people. But today, it is being used by 18 million people. While the World Health Organization recommends one hospital bed for every 550 people, Mumbai has one hospital bed for every 3,000 people. At Hiranandani Gardens, Powai, there is one hospital bed for every hundred residents. Since its inception in 2004, the Hiranandani Hospital has been serving the community with its 240-bed multi-speciality hospital. Where you have ample greenery and garden space, 
you are enthused to walk. So therefore, you will actually keep yourself fit. And you may not require the hospital. If you're, you know, healthy and you are, you know, uh, exercising yourself regularly, you don't need me. So I think uh, the community, the way it has been designed, the infrastructure, the physical infrastructure, the social infrastructure that we've put in, I think it's adding a huge value. <laughs> To strengthen the social infrastructure of the integrated township, the Hirandanis also invested in two schools with more than 2,000 students enrolled in them. While only 25% of schools in Mumbai have access to playgrounds, here at Hirandani, the children have access to wide open spaces for their development. have three playgrounds and uh, we don't look out for any other ground to hire for our sports day like the schools in Mumbai they have to do because they don't they have that space as a constraint lack of space definitely does not allow a child to bloom you may have the best of teachers the best of faculties the best of uh, uh, best of curriculum in place we must remember that a sound mind and a sound body and we follow that motto which is the motto of our school, Mensana Corpora Sano. And uh, the whole ambience, the greenery, the space has helped them to live up to that motto. Situation normal? Normal, normal. Location? Circle, sir. Hiranandani Gardens employs a crack team of commandos who provide round the clock surveillance for the estate. Yes, sir. We have approximately 300 acres area. There are 27 commercial zones, 47 residential zones. Minimum for 30, 25,000 to 30,000 professor public here. For their security, we have our commando group here, which we continue foot patrolling and bike patrolling. 24 by 7 our services here. Today, the security team is investigating a recent spate in manhole thefts around the property. There are some manuals here, which are stolen from some of the past few days. So, we have kept a person in vigilance. जो कमांडो सिविल ड्रेस में है, वो उधर होने वाले एक्टिविटीज़ पे ध्यान देगा। कि टिपिकल बॉम्बे लैंग्वेज में फील्डिंग कहते हैं और प्रोफेशनल लैंग्वेज में उसको विजिलेंस कहते हैं। Apart from staking out for criminals, the commandos have access to CCTV cameras placed strategically all across the estate. Sanjay and his team have nabbed many gangs that have operated in the area and have received bravery awards from the Mumbai police. The residents can be assured that Sanjay's hawk eye will keep them safe. Hawaii is an integrated township. It's not residential, it's not commercial, it's integrated residential commercial both. You'll find it vibrant all times of the day and night. Seven days a week, 365 days a year. It's hugely successful. People love it. And it's not only people who are staying or working over here who come to Main Street, but there are people from the entire community around Pawai who also flock over here. The true litmus test of any integrated township can be found in the many homes they have built. The Dudeja family was one of the first to move into the township and probably will be the last to leave. When you all live in this house? Do you think? For the last 14 years. 16 years, no? 14 years, no? 16 years. 98 16, onwards, 98. 15 plus. Yeah. There is no open space like Hawaii. I don't think any other uh, suburb has such open space. It's very safe also. Safe. Yeah, very safe, safe too. Very peaceful Security. when you go around and the gentry you see around, the people, they are very positive and uh, it's a good place to live. 
No, now we don't want to shift yeah. anywhere else. We don't want. We don't I want mean, to shift many anywhere. other builders have tried to copy this example, but they have not come nearer to what Pawai has been able to build. Iran and Danis have been able to build in Pawai. Hiranandani Gardens Pawai has not only impacted the lives of the people living in the residential complex, but transformed the entire suburb of Pawai that was once a mere picnic spot. I do hope that India will see an emergence of you know, leaders from civil society and private sector who can create those integrated uh, communities and spaces that not just create a fabulous quality of life but also ensure that we're building communities that are inclusive and sustainable. I think ultimately you have to end your life with some amount of self-satisfaction. At the end of the day you can't take it all and what we have done really is to try to see that as we have earned we have given back to society. We have created a template for good construction, definitely. That was our original intention, but also an attitude to how you go about doing things. You know, individual family level who actually lives here or the people who work here, you know, they, they, how they can, you know, live in a place which is uh, conducive to growth of human society, the betterment of a city. Hiranandani Gardens Powai is a good example of how integrated townships are changing the way people relate with the cities of the future. <laughs>